Hey everybody, Special Agent Nat here. The Blackwater Bennets are back and we've got a big one for you today because today we're going to talk about how to do your dailies. This is something that Rockstar has only recently added to the game. The dailies are seven tasks that you must complete. So to start out, let's go ahead and look at one entire day's worth of dailies. And the first and the easiest one is to just join a showdown series large which you can do through your quick join menu. And actually, as soon as you join the lobby, you get credit for joining. So you can back out immediately if you like. Uh, we do recommend that you actually go ahead and play the match out, however, because you'll make about 10 bucks. Showdown Series Large is still the best way to make money in the game. So you should actually be doing these anyway, uh, just to earn cash. And we're gonna give you a look here at the end screen when dude Riza leaves the showdown and as you can see it is good money so you might as well go ahead and play that out uh, your next item on the list of dailies is to just get drunk you can do this at any saloon it's actually better to do it at a saloon rather than to do it with the stuff in your bag but the best way to do it is at camp because there is free beer for you at your own camp and you don't have to pay the bartender but sometimes it's nice just to get together with the other bandits and have some shots. So we're all gonna get drunk here and we're having a great time because doing dailies are fun. They're not really that fun <laughs> as you'll see as the video plays out. But if you do them all, you will earn a gold bar for completing all seven tasks. So it is definitely worth your time and effort. Often you have to kill specific animals. Uh, for this daily, we're gonna kill white-tailed deer. As you know, white-tailed deer are everywhere on the map. Uh, but you will find a higher concentration of them in woodsy areas. Uh, West Grizzlies, up in the mountains around Ansburg, you'll find a lot of white-tailed deer in the woods. But you, like I said, you can find them anywhere on the map. They're all over the world here. And most of the time, it just tells you to kill animals. Sometimes it'll tell you uh, to kill animals with a bow, as is the case in this particular daily. So you're just going to kill some white-tailed deer with a bow very very simple anytime you have to kill animals for a daily you will probably have some idea of where you've seen those animals before you will notice however they don't spawn in quite as well when it's a daily challenge um, when you get turkeys you're used to seeing flocks of turkeys everywhere you will not see flocks of turkeys like that when they're a daily the spawn rate does seem to decrease so be aware of that and look for these animals in hot spots areas that you know that these animals populate and that'll give you your best chance of finding them often you will have to do feuds this is one that you'll see a lot in order to initiate a feud all you have to do is kill someone and then they will have the option to feud with you you will accept the feud in your invites you can find that through your start menu and then it's just game on uh, you'll kill each other and you can actually earn some XP uh, for the feud. So it is better to do things in a feud if you have to kill a player with a specific weapon, which is something we'll talk about later. It is better to go ahead and start a feud even if you don't have to, just for the extra XP. So you'll see Boom Baby 8 and I having quite a bit of fun with this particular feud. We started playing around a little bit. And it's fun to do that. If you have a good friend or a crew member that you can feud with, just to get the daily done. Um, if you have to win, you know, maybe try to make sure that your friend wins one and you win one. Just trade back and forth like that. And this is a very easy daily to get done. If you can't find a friend to feud with, by the way, just look around and try to find somebody in the session with you. Send them a message, ask them if they'd like to feud. Uh, they may want to do it even if they're not trying to work on dailies. And that works for posse feuds as well, which is another daily that you'll see pop up quite a bit. And as you can see here, Boom Baby 8 and I traded a loss and a win back and forth because sometimes the daily requires you to win a feud, sometimes it just requires you to play a feud. So just make sure you, you look carefully at what the actual task is and work on the task. Because if you have to win a feud and you play five feuds in a row, but lose them all, then you're not going to get credit. So let's take another look at our daily challenge list and get back on track with getting the rest of these tasks done. This is Dude Rizza and Looney Goon at the end of their feud. And as you can see, they held their feud very close to a town because they're keeping in mind the next task that's on the list. 
So dude's going to run into town now and work on the next task, which would be to change his outfit. Now, you don't have to go and completely change your clothes. You don't have to buy a new item. You can just take something that you already have and just swap it out if you want to. Dude has a lot of clothes to choose from, but even if you just have one extra hat, an extra pair of boots, a belt buckle will actually do the trick. So just go into any general store, into your camp, into a tailor. You'll find wardrobes in all these places. Change something, and then that daily task is very, very easily and quickly completed. Now, when you have to do free roam events, you always want to keep an eye open for those popping up, those pop up at intervals while you're in the world of Red Dead Online. You will be required to do free roam events quite a, lit, a lot in the daily challenges. That's one that pops up at least twice a week. So always keep your eyes peeled for a free roam event if that is a requirement so that you can select that and go into that whenever one is available to you. Uh, getting back to modifying your outfit, this is something that can be done even with weapon equipment. So you can just change your gun belt actually and get credit for this one as well. Some daily tasks are very easily accomplished, such as changing your clothing. Others are not, such as doing a free roam event. I personally don't like the free roam events. Um, they are not usually good money. They, it's a lot of death and dying. A lot of people do not focus on the actual challenges of the event. Um, if you attempt to focus on the challenges, you will get frustrated. It's a lot of just random killing people don't seem to know what they're doing a lot of the time. Uh, you'll see various scenarios. There's one where you have to advance a bag. There's one where you have to ride a horse to a certain location. Uh, there's this one, which is the King of the Castle event, which would be better served with a more gender-neutral term. However, the point is, <laughs> there's a lot of different free roam events. Uh, most of them are just a whole lot of death. This is a target practice when the objective is to actually shoot the targets but um, most people do not do that most people will simply be using their bow and arrow to fire at you um, as you can see here I'm trying to focus on targets but that's not happening so free roam events can be very tedious um, some people like them you might like them and if you do that's great because there's a lot that pop up uh, there's no choice by the way over what pops up it is random they pop up at intervals so if you need to get them done for a daily just wait till you see one join it get it over with you'll get a little bit of XP out of it sometimes you will get a little money out of it too so just get it out of the way and then you can get back to all the other stuff in Red Dead Online that you want to do my only advice for the free roam events is to just be patient it'll be over soon and you know you can always try to focus on the objectives and you may win one if you do, so hopefully you'll be able to do that. As you can see here, it is not impossible to win one of these events. Most of the time, even when you win, you're not going to get a lot of money, but it is a feather in your cap, and if you win five different events, I believe it is a belt buckle, so, you know, who knows. So, back to our daily challenges, because we are done with free roam events. It's now time for a posse infight. And this is something that can be launched by the leader of any posse, and it just splits the posse up into teams, and now you have to kill each other, which is very, very fun. We had a lot of fun doing this. As you can see, we were drunk as we were doing it, and it's just a good time. So, get together uh, your friends, your posse and get this done if you don't have a posse go to uh, xbox looking for group or look around in the lobby and just ask people uh, to join your posse and launch this event and it will be over in just a few minutes and you'll have another one of your daily tasks completed Infighting completed, 
That is all seven tasks of a single day of dailies. So let's go ahead and take a look at another day of dailies. That's right, because we're going to give you tons of tips in this video. So buckle in because we've got a lot more to show you. Now, if you look on this list, this does have a very common objective, which is to kill players using a specific weapon. This pops up all the time. In this case, it's a bow. Sometimes, however, you'll have to use a very specific rifle or repeater to kill players, which you may not own and which we will give you tips about later on in this video. So for right now, we need to get some bow kills. Now the best way in most cases to get kills on another player is to simply go into Showdown Series Large. There's lots of other players there for you to kill. The objective is to kill and you'll have access to just about every single weapon in the game, including the bow. The most wanted map is where you'll find the bow very, very easily in the woods. You can look on the map and see exactly where it's at. The bow in Tall Trees is one shot, one kill, so it's very easy to get this challenge done. There is, however, another way to do it, and you don't have to be in Showdown. Now, as you can see, I am in the world at large, and a random person decided to kill me for no reason. The Blackwater Bandits do not troll, we do not mess with other people, but if you kill us, then we're going to have problems, and this guy is about to have some problems. So the challenge is to kill players with a bow. Somebody in free roam just decided to mess with me for no reason whatsoever. So it looks like I'm going to be getting some bow kills here to show this guy that he shouldn't just go around griefing people. Griefing is bad, guys. And if you grief in Red Dead around the Blackwater Bandits, you're going to die a bunch of times and parlay with us and leave session with us and do all the things that people do when they grief us. So stop doing it. It's mean and... I've been known <laughs> to say some words to people before, so don't grief. This is my anti-griefing message for the day. Now let's get back to talking about doing the daily challenges. Of course, I am going to kill this person just a few more times just to make sure the message really hits home. That griefing is bad. Even if you see someone standing around somewhere, they might be thinking. They might be looking at a map. They might be looking something up online. Don't just kill people. Don't just run around in the world killing people. Everybody has stuff to do. If you don't have something to do, don't play this game. Find a new game. <laughs> so let's take a look at our daily challenge task list and get on to the very next task. And as you can see, one of the tasks is to get meat for the butcher. But now we also have to kill a specific animal for the daily challenge list. So let's do some multitasking. Let's head to an area where we know for sure that we can get the geese that we need to skin. And we'll hunt for varmints and other game along the way. Any animal that you kill, with the exception of fish, will give you meat that you can sell to the butcher to complete this daily challenge. Um, so that rabbit right there, for instance, will give me some stringy meat. Birds will give you plump meat. So on your way over to completing the next task, which is to hunt these geese, shoot animals on the way, and we're going to go ahead and show you the two really good hot spots for geese. You can pretty much always find geese and ducks at these two locations. Just right around the water's edge. You'll also find them flying above the water. Keep your eyes peeled. It's very, very easy to find geese and ducks, especially if you know where to look for them. Varmint rifle is the best way to get them killed. And if they go in the water, <laughs> go after them. Pull them out of the water if you can and get your daily task completed. So we're going to show you the two good spots on the map. This is where I'm at in the video. You can also go over here to the Heartland Overflow in New Hanover, which is where Dude Rizza is at, hunting for ducks. These are pretty much guaranteed spawn locations. If you don't see the ducks when you first ride up, right away, come back and they should spawn in. Right around the swamps in the St. Denis and Rhodes area, it's always good hunting grounds um, for whenever you need to get meat. And usually if you're looking for specific animals, there's a lot of times that the animals on the daily list will take you to the swamp anyway. 
But if you just need some general meat in order to sell to the butcher, including feathers, because that's another challenge that you'll see, go to the swamp, kill some stuff, and you will be able to easily get this challenge done and sell different meats to the butcher. For this particular daily list, you're also told to eat some different meats. So before you go to the butcher, or after, and just don't sell all your items, go to a campfire and cook yourself up some meat. And you can eat meat directly at the campfire. You can also cook up items to be stored in your bag. You should have some food in your bag anyway. And if you watched our How to Eat Like a Bandit video, then you already know everything you need to know about that so just go into your bag go to a campfire eat some meat this is another very very easy daily to get done and you can find a campfire right here in valentine which is where i'm at in this clip so let's take a look at our daily list and see where we're at with our tasks as you can see for this particular set of challenges you are required to win a race this is a daily task that you will see infrequently but it does pop up and you might not get it done I don't get this one done <laughs> winning races is extremely extremely hard it's a uh, full contact racing if you haven't seen it everyone has weapons you can hit each other you can run into each other's horses knock each other off it's it's intense um, so you might not win you might uh, get very frustrated in attempting to win I recommend you know do it four or five times if it's not going well go ahead and give up on this task maybe you won't get all the dailies done today however it is possible to win and we can give you some tips for what to do while you're in a race um, because weapons are allowed and because there are daily challenges that sometimes require you to kill other players if you know you're not going to win the race and you have an opportunity as dude Rizzo did just now Go ahead and get some of your other daily challenges done. You know, get your bow kills. Get whatever you need to get. Because you're here anyway, and you need to get those kills anyway. And you always want to be thinking about multitasking. Multitasking is going to be the key to getting a lot of these dailies done. And right now, we're just giving you a look at one of these races, what they're actually like. And as you can see, I tried very, very hard. <laughs> I did that win the race. You don't always win races. However, sometimes you do. So in order to maximize your chances of winning, there are several things that you want to keep in mind. First of all, it helps if you have a race horse, um, if you have one of the faster horses or a superior horse. Obviously, a good horse is going to give you a better advantage. You also want to be using, if you're an Xbox One player, your left joystick button to give your horse a little extra stamina boost as you run along and make sure above all that you run into the white lightning bolt barrels this is stamina for your horse if you do not keep up a supply of stamina for your horse then it will die and you will reset uh, further back in position than what you were and you're gonna have to play catch up and it's gonna make things more difficult if you fall behind um, you know you might never catch back up so bear this in mind race your heart out and like dude Riza, you may end up winning a race and getting this daily task complete hopefully you will by the way one of the main reasons the blackwater bandits don't like the racing is because even if you do win it's it's really not very good money so let's get back to our daily task list and get back on track on this particular list for the day you have to skin heron You'll often see heron, spoonbill, loons, and gulls on the daily list. These are all shorebirds. Most of them can be found in the swamp area. Uh, you can actually find them going all the way up to Van Horn. So look for them along the shore. You can also find them, a lot of them, along the Flat Iron Lake shore as well. So varmint rifle will take these down. Just keep an eye out and... Uh, You'll find them either hanging out on the shore or flying up above near the water. So that's the best way to find those. If you have to skin them, be mindful of where they land. If they all land in the water where an alligator is, then <laughs> you're not going to be able to go out and retrieve them. So try to make sure they're over land when you shoot them down so that you can get all the stuff that you need to finish this daily. 
And now that you've completed two daily task lists completely, let's go over some general tips for some of the common daily challenges that you're going to face that might be a little bit difficult on first glance. Very commonly, you will be asked to kill various small animals, skunks, muskrats, varmints of all types will pop up on your daily cha challenges. The best way to find these animals is to look for small creeks and rivers. You'll often find them um, along creeks and rivers, in especially muddy areas. You can find a lot of these smaller creatures in the swamp as well. Use your varmint rifle uh, and you can find these creatures fairly easily just going around small river areas. And we already showed you one on the map where you can find possums, muskrats, skunks, pretty much any varmint you might be looking for you can find there. And Dude Rizza is going to show you a second location that's very, very good down here in the swamp area. This little creek right there, that's a very, very reliable spot for finding varmints of all types. By the way, there's no rule that says that you need to do your dailies alone. As a matter of fact, the Blackwater Bandits often do our dailies together, and you can help your friend out. If the challenge is to skin an animal, that doesn't mean that you have to be the one who kills it. Um, if one of your fellow bandits or your fellow posse members sees an animal that they know you need, such as a squirrel, a skunk, they can kill the skunk and bring it to you, and you can skin it, and you'll get credit for it. So there is a way to share the burden, work together in groups and pairs, work with your friends, and everyone can get their daily challenges done this way. You can always help each other out. Pay attention if you need to skin or kill an animal, and then you'll know how you can help each other and what you can do. Among the common types of tasks that you'll see all the time is to eat specific things or take potions, sometimes it's chewing tobacco. You should have all this stuff in your bags. You should already have herbs and chewing tobacco products and various items in your bags. Just from being out in the world, always remember to pick plants when you see them out in the world. If you're standing around waiting on a queue, if you're waiting on, on your buddy to get done doing something, just grab whatever's nearby. If you pass a house and you have a minute, run in there and try to steal some tonics and stuff. Um, the horses that other travelers have, the NPCs, they'll have tonics. Take every opportunity you can get to stock up and you'll have all this stuff in your bags anyway. Many of the animals that you're tasked with finding for your dailies are simple. Some of them are not. Um, sometimes you might have to find something rather rare, such as a bat. So we're showing you now the three locations where you can find bats on this map. We showed you that cave by the Elysium Pool. That's one location. You can also sometimes find them flying overhead down deep, deep in the swamp at the second location. And sometimes you can find them in the deep dark woods near the aurora basin way over in tall trees by far the best spawn location the most reliable spawn location to find them is the elysium pool there's a cave if you played story mode and you did the poison trail treasure then you're already very very familiar with this cave and if not that's okay we're going to show you where it's at <laughs> all you have to do is walk through the waterfall to get to it and there are bats in here and they are always in here. If you don't see them at first, it's because someone else just came through and grabbed them. Just leave and come back. It's very dark here. You don't have to go deep into the cave at all. In fact, there's no reason for you to go any further than right just past the entrance. That's where the bats are, and there's nothing else actually in that cave to mess with. It's going to be a huge waste of time. So just go right here in the entrance, and you will find bats. And like I said, you can just ride away and keep coming back as many times as needed until you get all the bats that you require. They are here. They are very easy to find. And this is the most reliable spot to find them in. Sometimes you'll actually get a task that sounds a lot easier than it actually is, such as sell five items to a fence. You think to yourself, okay, that's pretty easy. And to your own, you don't actually have any items to sell to a fence. 
So <laughs> there are many, many ways to find items that you can sell. Home robberies are very good. We're showing you a house right now where you can uh, always find some jewelry, such as the necklace that Dudriz has just found. And there are a couple of home locations where you can do that. And we're working on a video to show you some of the best robbery spots in Red Dead Online. You can also sometimes get items from doing hideouts. And the gangsters at these places may have pocket watches and they may have jewelry from previous heists and things that they have been up to. So if you see a hideout, go ahead and clear that out. Or an ambush. Ambushes are also a good source of pocket watches and random jewelry. loot all the bodies and you should be able to find perhaps one or even two items that you can sell to the fence like the ring that dude Riza just found in this hideout that he's doing uh, this house right here is a guaranteed fence treasure item uh, you'll find jewelry here every time pay attention to what dude's doing here go right up the stairs go into this bedroom go to the nightstand and you'll find a necklace leave because that's the way it works but at least you have an item to sell to the fence and you can go to a fence in any town anywhere uh, thieves landing in the ranch wherever you happen to be and sell these items and that will give you credit for doing the daily plus you'll get money from the items that you sold to the fence so it's not bad at all sometimes you'll see a bit of delay especially when you have to sell items to a fence or a butcher or one of the um, npcs but just give it a second and it will give you credit for completing your challenge. One of the more difficult tasks you will have to do can also be served with a gang hideout. Um, it is to kill players with a Maxim gun. Now, Maxim guns are in Showdown Series Large. It's very, very hard to get kills with Maxim guns. As soon as somebody gets on their gun, they're gonna, everybody in the lobby basically is gonna want to kill you. A much, much easier way to do it is to find a hideout where there is a Maxim gun. There are several of them are all around the map. This one that we're showing you is down deep in the swamp, and we will show you exactly on the map where it's located. And you find a hideout, and it has to be active in order for the gun to be there. But all you have to do is just clear out all the guys that are there, just clear the hideout, loot the bodies. You may end up getting some um, extra items. You'll get some ammo and tonics and stuff like that anyway, so it's lucrative to do this. And then once they're all dead, you can use the gun for yourself and your posse and get this daily challenge complete. And as you can see, there is a Maxim gun. So, clear the hideout, kill the leader, and you can take over the gun. This is a gang hideout where there is definitely a Maxim gun. As long as you clear everybody out, the gun will be there for you to use. As you can see, and here are the Blackwater Bandits using the Maxim gun to kill each other and get this challenge done. And like I said, there are Maxim guns in Showdown Series Large. It is very, very difficult to get kills using these weapons. It's much easier if you could just clear out a hideout, you and your friends, and just take turns killing each other using this gun. That's it's definitely going to be the easiest way to get it done. However, if that's not an option for you, you can just get in Showdown Series, look for the guns that are already in position on those modes, and we wish you the best of luck. We're sure you can do it. Now... Once again, the best and easiest way to get your dailies done is with help. Grab a friend, work on getting them together. Sometimes you have to blow up people. Sometimes you have to kill people with throwing weapons. Things that can be difficult to do in regular showdown and PvP modes. So get your friends together and get these tasks done with your buddies whenever possible. Or put together a new group, make some new friends. Look for other people who are doing their dailies and you can easily get these done. So let's get back to some general tips. You will often have to sell carcasses to the butcher. This does not mean that your animals cannot be skinned. They can be skinned. Also, small pocket creatures count as well. Squirrels, little songbirds. These all count as items that can be sold to the butcher. So you don't have to go out on several different hunting trips to bring back just large animals. Any size animal will do to get that challenge completed.
so let's talk about fishing. Sometimes, very infrequently, you will be told to go fish. You can fish literally anywhere there is water. You can do this in a lake or a river, as you can see me doing here, which is obviously the more traditional form. You can fish in the swamp. Um, there's all kinds of fish out there in the swamp for you to get. Watch out for the crocodiles and the snakes. You can even fish inside a city if there's a lake. This is the lake in St. Denis. Literally, if there's water, you can fish in it. So this is a very easy challenge to do. You can use almost any bait, worms, that type of thing. Uh, the lures, however, and the spinner are the best if you want to ensure that you catch some good fish. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you will often be tasked with killing other players and you will often be told to use specific weapons. Sometimes, weapons that you do not own. Now, you should not have to go out and buy every single gun in Red Dead Online, unless that's something you want to do. So, if you are tasked with killing players with a weapon you do not own, go into Showdown Series Large, and you will have access to almost every single weapon in the game. They will appear on most maps. You can actually pull up the map and look specifically at the weapons on the map and you can see exactly where the weapon that you need is located. Uh, for instance, I'm here, I don't have a repeating shotgun, so I am finding repeating shotguns on the map and using those to kill other players. This map, by the way, is one of the Gun Rush series. You can also find weapons in the Gun Rush series maps. It's just a little bit easier to do, um, I think, in Showdown series. But either way, there are weapons available that you can simply pick up off the map. Now, also, of course, you can just get together with your friends if you already own one of the weapons that's required. And just shoot your friends in a, a regular free roam lobby. And you'll get this challenge done as well. Now, in every Showdown series mode except for Most Wanted, you can pick up weapons off players' dead bodies. For example, if you need shotgun kills, don't bring a shotgun with you. Um, have your friend, if they own a repeating shotgun, have them bring the repeating shotgun, pick it up off their dead body, and you can use that to kill your friend, which is what we've done several times. Um, if one of the bandits owns a weapon that the other bandits don't have, this is a very easy way to get this challenge done. You can do it in Showdown Series Large, so once again, you can actually make a little bit of money while you're doing this as well. So this is a very good way to get this done. Sometimes it takes a while. You might have to do two or three Showdown Series before everybody can get all their kills. But it's a very effective way to get this done, and it's a lot cheaper than buying every single weapon in the game that's required of you to use in order to get your daily challenges completed. And uh, we can also show you the Carcano rifle. This is in Tall Trees. It's over here in the wagon, and like I said, you can just look at the map anytime and find out what specific guns are where on any Showdown series map. So just get together with your friends, steal weapons off their dead bodies, go into Showdown, pick up weapons off the ground, and you can get this done and get any kind of weapon kill you need, even if you don't own that weapon. Here's a look at another daily task list, just to give you an idea of the types of challenges that you'll be facing. And many times, you will be faced with challenges that require you to spend money, one of which being the camp style update. What we recommend for this is to purchase the cheapest camp style upgrade that's available. It costs $150, and just switch back and forth whenever the daily task list requires you to change your camp style, which will happen a lot. You'll see this one probably at least once a week. This one pops up a lot. So it's definitely worth it to go ahead and invest the money and change your camp style just once. You can do so by talking to the weird guy who lives in your camp. And as you can see, the cheapest one costs 150 bucks. So make this one purchase and then you'll be able to do this daily task over and over again because it is going to be a requirement that you will see quite frequently.
And now we have arrived at the most important tip of them all. Now pay attention because this is something you want to do whenever you're done with your dailies every day. Go talk to a post office and clear your bounty. <laughs> Once your bounty gets to be over $10, the bounty hunters will not stop coming until you pay it or until they kill you, which you still have to pay it even after they kill you. So go ahead and clear your bounty every day and you're going to have to spend a little bit of money every single day on your dailies because that is the way Rockstar chose to do this. But if you do, you'll get all your dailies complete, you'll get a gold bar, you'll get a lot of XP, and you'll earn a little something off of all the various tasks and challenges that you've been working on. So thank you for watching. We hope that all these tips will help you get your dailies done. Please subscribe to our channel for all sorts of tutorial videos and lots more fun stuff. We are the Blackwater Bandits.